This week, the latest stable diffusion model was released to the public for free, and it's truly something you need to see to believe. In this video, I will show you how you can install Stable Diffusion 3 on your own PC and try it out yourself, go over all new updates and features, and we will also compare it to other AI image generators. Stable Diffusion 3 produces high resolution images up to 2048 by 2048 pixels, which is significantly higher than previous versions. This improvement is due to its new diffusion architecture, which also reduces image distortion and improves overall image quality. One of the notable upgrades in Stable Diffusion 3 is its ability to generate clearer and more accurate text within images. This was a weakness in earlier versions, but Stable Diffusion 3 can now handle text generation on par with leading AI models like DALI 3 and Mid Journey. The model has improved its ability to accurately interpret and render images based on prompts involving multiple subjects. This makes it more versatile and capable of creating complex scenes. Stable Diffusion 3 offers a range of model sizes from 800 million to 8 billion parameters, meeting the needs of users from hobbyists to professionals. This scalability allows users to choose the right balance between performance and computational requirements. With advanced sampling techniques and powerful hardware, Stable Diffusion 3 can generate an image in less than 35 seconds. This speed is crucial for efficient workflow and rapid prototyping. Stability AI has prioritized safety in Stable Diffusion 3 by implementing different safeguards to prevent the generation of inappropriate or harmful content. This includes the complete removal of not safe for work image generation capabilities. As of this moment, only Stable Diffusion 3 Medium is available for free download and local use. This is the less powerful model with only 2 billion parameters. It has already faced a lot of backlash for being quite bad at generating photorealistic images and completely messing up human anatomy. Some users even report that it's worse than earlier versions like Stable Diffusion 1.5 or SDXL. Nevertheless, if you want to download it and try it yourself, there is a quick guide on how to do it. First, you need to install Python. Open the installer and press Customize Installation. Then click Next and check the box for Add Python to Environment Variables. This is very important, so don't forget to do this. Then download Comfy UI from GitHub by pressing this direct download link. Now download this 15GB file from Hugging Face and the basic workflow file. Open the Comfy UI folder, go to Models, Checkpoints and put the 15GB file inside this folder. Now launch run nvidia gpu.bat file, which will open Comfy UI in your browser. Drag and drop the workflow file into Comfy UI. Now drag the wire from load checkpoint to prompt and to negative prompt and select your model. And this is basically it, you can now generate images with Stable Diffusion 3. You can write your prompt in this box and change the batch size and image resolution here. Press the Q prompt button and your images will be generated. If you are wondering how Stable Diffusion 3 performs compared to other AI image generators, here are images generated by Stable Diffusion 3, DALI 3 and Mid Journey using the same prompt.
Overall, Stable Diffusion 3 is quite disappointing. The main issue is that the progress isn't very visible compared to older models, and the developers have only released a weaker, medium version to the public. Photorealistic images are very disappointing, but with proper prompting and experimentation with settings, you can achieve some decent results. The main advantage of Stable Diffusion 3 is that you can use it as a free alternative to Midjourney. Hopefully, it will receive more updates soon, and the full model will be released for local use. Whatever happens, we will keep you updated on our YouTube channel and our website. Thanks for watching.